compost outreach project was designed to give Snohomish County farmers an opportunity to see firsthand the benefits of incorporating compost into their cropping systems, conduct the research needed to validate the use of compost on local crops, and create a sustainable market for returning landscape and food waste energy to local farms. By talking to these farmers and answering their questions and giving them an opportunity to use compost, uh, they get a better idea of how compost works in the soil and the long-term and short-term benefits it can provide. The compost in this project is coming from a local compost generator that collects food waste, yard waste bins, and source-separated commercial food waste from the city of Seattle and the surrounding metropolitan areas. I was approached by WSU to come down and see if I would be participating in the compost trial. Uh, on our farm and I agreed and so that's where we started from. We've been in business for probably 40 years or plus and now we're into the pumpkin patch entertainment business. We do grow produce for our roadside stand. Everything we raise, everything we do is on this farm. Over the past two years we conducted compost research trials on three Snohomish County farms. The crops involved pumpkins, triticale, and corn for silage. At each of the on-farm research sites, the addition of compost was compared to the growers' business-as-usual management control plots in a randomized, replicated design. We measured soil properties, crop yield, and water infiltration of the compost-treated plots versus the business-as-usual plots. For the triticale crop, the compost amended plot showed a 100% increase in yield. The pumpkin crop showed a 20% increase in yield. We saw no significant difference in the yield of corn silage. This may have been due to the fact that planting occurred too soon after the compost application, but we have no data to support that theory. How did the compost affect your crop? Uh, we found out that with the compost applied that we had earlier emergence of pumpkin plants. They were healthier, uh, they grew faster, and in some of the trying wet weather that we had, I think it was an asset. And one thing that we did notice was the rapid canopy that was established, and it really helped weed control in that one area to a, a great extent. And also, we got better pumpkins and more. Compost can provide many benefits to a farmer's land management strategy. The compost improves soil quality, provides nutrients to the crops, buffers soil pH, decreases erosion, maintains soil moisture, and adds organic matter to the soil. Compost can potentially improve marginal land and help farmers reduce their dependence on chemical fertilizers when used as part of a land management strategy that incorporates crop rotation, tillage reduction, and cover cropping. On the second track, we're working on demonstration projects. We do this by meeting up with a farmer and then we'll get compost delivered to the site and we will try to guide them to what will work best for their application. Thanks to grants from Snohomish County, farmers received the compost free of charge and were responsible for applying it alongside a business as usual control. There are a wide variety of growers utilizing compost in our demonstration project. Crops involved included pasture grasses, winter wheat, barley, and triticale, clover, field corn, sweet corn, tomatoes, greens, potatoes, beans, peas, strawberries, pumpkins, eggplant, spinach, carrots, nursery, and orchard trees. At the end of this demonstration trial, we conducted a survey to gather feedback from the farmers who participated in our project. 100% uh, of the project participants believe that the compost was a benefit to their farm enterprise. 93% of the farmers believed that the 
compost improved their soil quality. 70% of the farmers believed that the compost improved their crop production. One of the key findings of this project was discovering that what the growers are willing to pay for compost may not necessarily match the compost producer's current price for their product. The next step in this project is to conduct a set of focus groups that include farmers and compost producers with the goal of closing this gap. By doing so, WSU Extension can help farmers keep up with the growing demand for local food while recovering a valuable resource from our urban waste stream. Part of this project has actually been um, to go beyond research and actually reach out and start to communicate with the agricultural farmers in this area. This isn't just about numbers or collecting data. This is about creating a system for our food which is sustainable in the long term.